The head of the CIA was rejecting many of the accusations in a Senate report on interrogation methods used after 9-11. Bob Orr is in Washington, where Thursday's news conference drew an in instant response from the report's chief architect. Bob, good morning. Good morning. Well, the spat between CIA Director John Brennan and the Senate Intelligence Committee Chairman Dianne Feinstein has reached a new low. As Brennan was busy defending his agency, Senator Feinstein was firing off tweets, calling into question much of what Brennan had to say. Cameras are rarely permitted inside the CIA. So it was an extraordinary event when John Brennan told a televised news conference September. that some rogue interrogators used brutal tactics in questioning Al Qaeda detainees. In a limited number of cases, agency officers used interrogation techniques that had not been authorized, were abhorrent, and rightly should be repudiated by all. Brennan did not use the word torture. And he broadly defended the CIA's detention program ordered by the Bush White House in the tense days following 9-11. There were numerous credible and very worrisome reports about a second and third wave of major attacks against the United States. Brennan rejected allegations by the Democrats on the Senate Intelligence Committee that so-called enhanced interrogation techniques used on dozens of detainees produced no actionable intelligence. Our reviews indicate that the detention and interrogation program produced useful intelligence that helped the United States thwart attack plans, capture terrorists, and save lives. But as Brennan was speaking, Senator Dianne Feinstein fired back, tweeting, no evidence that terror attacks were stopped, terrorists captured, or lives saved through the use of EITs. In what amounted to a point-by-point -point rebuttal, she tweeted, CIA had info before torture, adding coercive interrogation techniques don't work. But Brennan, clearly unaware of the tweets, said there's no way to know if those techniques led to breakthrough intelligence. There was useful intelligence, very useful, valuable intelligence that was obtained from individuals who had been at some point subjected to the EITs. Whether that could have been obtained without the use of those EITs is something again that is unknowable. Now Brennan repeated his personal opposition to the use of so-called EITs or enhanced interrogation techniques and the White House has given the CIA chief a new vote of confidence. Charlie? Bob, thanks.